Okay everybody, welcome to this video. In this video we're going to demonstrate leveraging an application on a Samsung tablet and it's called Kids Mode. It's provided by Samsung and it provides super simple things that are similar to the Apple iPhone screen time but it has a little bit, a little, a few extra things that are involved. Um, so what Kids Mode can do is it effectively becomes almost a replacement for the entire experience on a Samsung tablet. You download it from the Samsung website or some of the Samsung tablets come with it pre-installed. But if we go ahead and look at Kids Mode now, it effectively is an experience that replaces the desktop experience or the, the, the normal tablet mode. Uh, windows. For example, if I try to press some of these buttons to get out of kids mode, like the all windows or the escape return button or the home button, it doesn't close kids mode. So it means that you can open kids mode, put a pin on it and then leave your child stuck in kids mode so they can't get out of it. You could still give them access to individual applications, even things like Disney Plus, but it allows you some extra controls or pin protected controls as well on the device so you can prevent your child from using parts of the tablet that you don't want them to. Now the app itself comes with a whole bunch of different little internal applications or things that you can download and run inside kids mode um, and a lot of these would be shown as sort of templates or little downloadable icons. But then of course, as you scroll through the different screens, you can see all of the other Samsung tablet apps or Google apps uh, that are available as well, um, that have been made available only inside this experience. So if we tap down here on the settings button, if we enter our pin, Once we've entered our pin, we go into the configuration of kids mode. And the, and the first thing that it's most important to set, of course, is a daily playtime limit. This helps with transitioning and away from the device, but it also helps making sure that there's less arguments when it comes to turning the device off. So on weekdays, we have a one hour limit per day. On weekends, we have a two hour limit per day. Perfect, super simple tap back here on the daily playtime and that's the limit now that's configured on this device um, with a pin controlled entry into the settings section. You can of course tap on apps now. These are the apps that are currently available. You can add any other app that's available on the device already which is very cool. Um, and then only the apps that are made available inside kids mode will be accessible, will be able to be run. Let's tap back on apps. You can add things like media and music. I don't really bother with that. It shows you some of the other activities with pictures and videos and drawings. It does have a super simple chart to show you things like daily playtime and apps that have been most frequently used. So in the top right here, you can tap on the little three dots and we can click on settings and we can reset settings. We can check for updates, which you can see with the little N is there is already an update. And of course here we can change the pin for the parental access. So I'm not going to do that at this point, but this is where you would set it in the device. You can have different profiles for different children, but ultimately this applies to the entire device. So do keep that in mind when you go and put settings on here. And it really is that simple. If I now tap or click on the home button on the Samsung tablet, you'll note it doesn't go back to the normal Samsung tablet desktop. It goes back to kids mode. So even when opening other apps with inside kids mode and then closing them, you are forever in kids mode until you come down here and you exit out of kids mode, type in your pin, and then you can get back to the normal tablet experience. And there we go, back to the full desktop on this device, ready for me to open my apps and do whatever I want to on this device instead. Keep in mind that parental controls and restrictions inside the apps would still need to be enabled for things like Disney Plus and Netflix as Kids Mode has no visibility or control over that. That's the end of this video. Hope it's been helpful. See you in the next one. Bye for now.